Folks, after you've put monofilament on your spinning reel, and if you don't, we fish a lot, and I change my line out on my reels probably sometimes two, three times a month, believe it or not, just depending on how hard we're fishing. But a lot of people will go all season, and what will happen is you'll get a lot of line memory that will build up. And these new monofilaments are great. They resist a lot of that memory, but you know what I'm talking about when you throw out and you got those big loops of line laying on the water, and it kind of hinders your cast. What I learned as a kid growing up, back when the, the spinning lines or the monofilaments weren't as good with the memory uh, resistance as they are now, what I would do before I went fishing is I'd take my spool off like this while well, I was, say, getting the boat tied up or something like that, getting ready. I'd pop my spool off, and then what I'd do is go in and grab a cup of hot water. I'm going to go grab a cup of hot water and show you this. All right, folks, now what you do, I've had a lot of people get worried saying, oh, if you get it too hot, it's going to break the line down. Guys, I'm not boiling water. I'm not boiling water. All I'm doing is just running the water out of the tap. And this is probably, this water here, you're probably looking around 110 degrees or so. And all we're going to do is just fill a cup up like so, enough to cover that spool. And then we're just going to dump that spool in there just like that. And while we're getting the boat hooked up and getting our stuff ready, we're going to let that thing soak. Now, don't forget it when you head down the road. Don't forget your spools there. But what that'll do, that hot water will take and soften that line up. It does not hurt it, and it makes it so when you cast it out, it has no memory. It's nice and limp. Give that a try sometime.